In this video, we will be discussing the Soft Console application. The Soft Console application is a program that runs on your local PC and allows you to control your physical phone from your desktop. It gives you greater control and more flexibility than the Phone Manager application and is typically used by operators and receptionists. When you first run the program, the login window will appear on your screen. Simply enter in your extension number. The IP address of your phone system should already be populated. If not, select Browse. The program will search your network for your phone system. As soon as it finds it, select it. Click OK. Then enter your extension number or select your name from the user list. Once you've selected it, click OK. You will see the following screen appear. This is the Soft Console application. The main screen is broken down into four quadrants. The upper left quadrant is your current call information. The lower left quadrant is calls that are on hold at your phone. The lower right is the BLF, or Busy Lamp field. This is the statuses of all the users on the system. The upper right is your directory. This is a list of internal users, hunt groups, or directory listings as they appear in the phone system. You can turn these off and on by selecting these buttons. So we can have just the users visible, just the hunt groups, or just the directory. These buttons along the top allow you to control your phone when you have an active call. This button here brings you into the configuration and the preferences for the Soft Console application. The first tab we look at is the Incoming Calls tab. This allows you to set up a script that will pop up over the directory listing on an active call. This is simply a text file that will pop up how that phone call should be answered. The default text file, if you plug it in here, if you link it to this window here, will pop up on all incoming calls. You can then create text files and script files for specific incoming numbers based on the caller ID. In this example, we have this telephone number will pop up a script file for the XYZ text. Typically this comes into play if you have a single operator answering phone calls for multiple companies. The Park Slots shows you the shortcuts to access the Park Slot buttons. Putting a call on Park is an extended hold. Here we see that the shortcut for Park Slot 1 is Alt F1. So if we have an active call, we can press Alt F1 on our keyboard to park it at Slot 1, or to take the call off of Park Slot 1. Here we have the Busy Lamp Field groups. You can edit groups, add groups, or add users to groups from this window. We'll come back to that when we get to the busy lamp field. Here are some display fields for the program itself and how the directory will list. The Soft Console tab allows us to control whether or not the Soft Console application will pop up when a new call arrives. So if we have this application minimized and Pop Soft Console is enabled, when a new call comes in, this application will pop up on the screen and come to the forefront of all open windows. Here we see a list of all the shortcuts for accessing functions from the keyboard. Down here in the lower right hand corner 
we have the busy lamp field. As you can see, we currently have three users programmed in the busy lamp field. We can right click and change the view. And by hovering over the users, we can see some detailed information about that user. Here we see that this user is idle, and by this envelope icon, they have new messages. Now we see that that user is busy. The phone glows red, so we can tell that they are on the phone. We see that these other users are also idle. We can right click and change the view to give us a list of the users or to give us the details that would normally appear while hovered over in a list. We can also add new members to this group. We can give it a name and the number has to be of the extension number in the system. So here we see John has his forwarding turned on, hence the green arrow. And if we hover over it, we see that his calls are being forwarded. If his do not disturb was on, you would see a blue X in the lower right hand corner. Now you've noticed that we have two different tabs here. These are what we call BLF groups. We can right click and add a new BLF group. We would give it a name, and then we could select the users from the list. Or, we can right click and then select new group member. Here we see that this user just turned on their do not disturb. If we hover over it, we see that their status has been changed to DND. If we wish to call one of these users, we could simply double click on the phone. And you'll notice the physical phone on the desk goes off hook on the speaker and the user is being called. We could press this button to hang up the call. Another way of placing a phone call from the application is to select the make call button. That will pop up this window. We can either type in a number that we want to dial or we can select someone from the list below. You can also start typing in their name and it will narrow down the list below. So now you could either press make call or just double click on the number. And now you see that that call is now active in our active call window. We suddenly have options on how we can handle this call. We can press the hold button to place the call on hold. Now you see that that call is down here. We're given some details on who the call is from, who the call is to, and how long it's been on hold. We can double click it to take the call off of hold, or if there are multiple calls on hold, we can elect to select the call that's been on hold the longest. We can also park the call by pressing the Park Slot button. The name appears here since we dialed the number from the directory. If it was a number that did not appear in the directory, it would simply list the number here instead of the words Bill Cell. If we want to take this call off Park, we can either press the Park Slot button or we can hit Alt F1, which was the shortcut for Park Slot 1. And you'll notice when I do that, that the call turns off the speakerphone on the phone while it's on park. If we had a headset plugged in, it would go to the headset. We also have the ability 
to hang up the call, record the call. This would save the call from this point forward into our local voice mailbox. Recording a call requires system resources and it is not advised that all calls be recorded. It is also advised that you check your local laws on whether or not the caller needs to be warned that their call may be recorded. Here we have a button for transferring the call. We could take this call, press the transfer button, and then dial the number of the person we want to transfer it to. Another option, while the call is active, is to double click on one of the users and you'll see that we are now calling them and the original call is on hold. We can then press transfer complete and that call is no longer active on our phone and you can see that that user is now busy with the telephone call. You'll also notice that the speaker light went out on the physical phone. When calls come in, if we have programmed a script into this application, that script will pop up when the call is routed in. Here we see the incoming call and the script associated because this number is what came in on the caller ID. One more time, incoming caller ID, here's the associated script. We can press that button to answer the incoming call. Now you see, the script is still on the screen. Once we've stated it, we can close it and get back to our directory. We can hold the call and take it back. Now if a call comes in that doesn't match that specific number, the default script will be shown. Assuming the default script was entered. Once again, we can answer the call from here. We can park it, take it off park, or transfer it. As you see, the Soft Console application gives the operator greater control over her phone and greatly improves the receptionist's or operator's productivity. This concludes the video on the Soft Console application.